Hey, uh, let me see another track that I loved. Uh, 11 Hours, uh, beautiful love song. Um, I saw this version you did, recorded a session in a church somewhere in New York. Wow. Yeah, that was really cool. We did that with the fader. Um, just like got some amazing players and went to a church and tried to record a really emotional, even more emotional <laughs> version. Yeah, then you succeeded. Great. <laughs> so, I mean, your music develops while even after you record it, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the best parts about putting music out is presenting it in different ways live and getting different people to bring different things with their playing to it. Now, uh, I was really surprised by the fact that you guys are a massive success on streaming media. Like you have a hundred million plus plays on Deezer and Spotify and Apple Music. That's incredible. Like that's really good. And and this is also a sign of the times that you can be incredibly popular on streaming music and have no album charting or and still in touring arenas. It's so weird. Yeah, it is really weird. It's such a weird time. I think. Like, people always ask, like, how do you think you're doing? And it's like, I have no idea. I can't, I, I don't know how to judge what what success is at this point. I mean, I think there's some things we're really good at and other things we could be better at, but I can't really tell anymore. I think some people are going to have good, sell good tickets. Some people have high streaming numbers. Some people have a lot of Instagram followers, like, or you sell records or you're on the radio, but... I'm yeah, it's amazing when I see when I look at Spotify and see like Don't Wanna Be Your Girl has that many plays. It's like it's amazing. It's really cool. Do you imagine going out to so many people because I mean you do. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's also what strikes me is that there's a lot of people who are reacting on your on your media. Um there's a picture of a guy and you say happy birthday boy and uh uh, one of the reactions uh, there is your part in Half Light still gives me goosebumps. You sound like a goddamn angel. This is the cooperation did with Ross Ham and Half Light, of course. Yeah, yeah. Ross Ham's a good friend of mine, and he he produced this Woman Loves You, and you're not wrong on the album. And yeah, we worked on a bunch of. I worked on his album too. Beautiful. Yeah. And Lickie Lee is also on the, on the album, right? Yep, she sings on This Woman Loves You as well. Wow. Yeah. How did you team up with her? That was through Rostam. Also? Yeah, because he's he works with her a lot, and he kind of just brought her in to do vocals. Wow. Hey, what are your new plans now? Because you probably have shitloads of ideas for new music. Yeah. Are you still with Columbia for the third album? Um. Yes, we're, we're still with Columbia now, and we're working on new music. There's no plan to put out a third album yet, but I think we're trying to think of interesting ways to put out music, um, maybe like a smaller release um, in the spring, but we're just kind of focusing on finishing some new songs and touring this record, and then we'll see. Uh, I hope you guys will be back to Europe as well. Do you have any yeah. plans to tour Europe? Yes, I think ideally we would come back next year. We're still kind of planning everything out, but do like a full tour over here next year. Next year's in four weeks, you know that, right? I know, <laughs> later on next year. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for your time and the beautiful music. Thank you so much.